What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Neek fans mad after King Shady Post. Uh, uh, my good sis voice. Let's get it. Neek supporters are not letting up on King and Lena. King just posted a fashion over paid promo post on IG. Someone said, going on a trip but couldn't buy your son an outfit nor pay for his party, shaking my head. Is this a joke? You can't even buy your kid a two-piece set. You out the country spending money, but when you was in the country, you couldn't spend no money on that first born. <laughs> you over here taking pictures. Not you out the country spending money, but when you was in the country. Y'all so petty. Get your son a haircut. Posting pictures but ain't buy your son an outfit is crazy to me. Trying to post like he the man standing on zero bucks go take oh that outfit back God. Kaiser needs school clothes no way i'll be trying to show off an outfit right now bro anyway king x boo ashley also spoke out ashley is the girl that claimed that king was messing with her and lena at the same time in the beginning of king's relationship with lena and ever since then they've been going back and forth ashley tweet call me whatever but i love seeing y'all get on the two stooges that tried to tear me down how Ha, karma is a real thing and i always say this someone said baby it's been years move on it's gonna I always gonna be lie, a she she gotta let it go. For me, I hold grudges for life, and what about it? Y'all leave y'all comments. She's not even connected to a baby with the nigga, and she just be chatting. Down below, let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Kaisen will not be prosecuted on charges of inciting a riot. Uh, listen, I don't think King is broke. I think that, uh, and I definitely don't want to put it out there like, that he don't like his son or whatever, but I will say something ain't right, gang. I, I don't, I don't, you know, and, and I really respect him as a dude and as a as a dad for real because um, you know, when a man is there to take care of his, of his children, it's a beautiful thing, especially in the black community to me. But not having a suit for him, not getting him a haircut, not none of that, I just don't agree with. So yeah, I'm on the side of right with this one. Something ain't something ain't right, and hell, I wish he would say something about it because I'm not understanding. In Manhattan after agreeing to post a public apology and paying $57,000 in restitution. Now, the $57,000 would go to Union Square. I'm glad it, didn't, it, it wasn't worse than this. Partnership to cover the landscaping and other courses. And not only will Kaisenet case be dropped, but Duke Dennis and agent cases dismissed as well. Oh, Kaisenet issued an apology last night. He said, when I promoted a giveaway PS5 in Union Square Park, it created an unintentional dangerous situation due to the way I promoted and advertised it. The result was unsafe situation for people who live and work in the neighborhood. First responded my followers that it was unsafe for him too he was scared as hell look at his face that boy was scared as hell attended the event i apologize for the yeah we was looking at that shit like it was 9 11. disruption and damage to the community the park the vehicles and the storefronts in the area i recognize this gathering impact business owners and their employees by interfering with their ability to do business that afternoon thereby compromising their livelihoods i apologize to the first responders who had to endure the backlash of this irresponsible promotion and work to restore calm finally i apologize to my followers who came to the promotion and did not act out i am from new york and would never want to see the city turned upside down down due to unwanted irresponsible and dangerous behavior i wanted to do something cool and fun for the people and did not think it was going to turn into something that caused harm to the city and i should have thought more about the post before i announced it the actions of some of the people that attended were unacceptable at no time is it okay to act out physically in situations like this or to destroy yeah, who knew niggas was about to start tearing up cars and shit. Destroy property to try to harm people. It was never my intent for it to get so out of hand. And I have learned a very valuable lesson that social media is a very powerful tool to do good. But it can also cause dangerous unwanted situation if it's not used properly. I know the mayor district attorney Alvin Brad and the New York Police Department. Y'all, that's a good thing that he learned early too. This shit long as hell. <laughs> we gonna go ahead and keep on going. But shout out to him and his apology. People started speculating that Carmen and Corey were back together after they were calling each other baby in Corey's recent video. I'm not addressing anything. I'm not confirming anything. I'm not doing what y'all want me to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do and need to do. So y'all can assume and do y'all math. Whatever that equals to, then that's what it is. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Anyway, Chris Sales in his recent video speaks on if he's the father of Leslie's twin boys. The twins are not my twins. Yeah, so y'all can stop asking me that. Oh, thank God. All right, we're gonna go to the... um. To the next video, I'm gonna get into so real tea because this video 40 minutes I mean, four minutes that I just did. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, that whole King situation, I really hate what it. is up? I really hate it. Yo, hey, yo, <laughs> so real gang, how are we doing today? Let's get into the let me go ahead and address this too because it's like a text message or something circling around about, um, I'm not even gonna put that out there for y'all to create, so I'm gonna just say. It's a text message going around that y'all are trying to stir up the pot. And I'm going to just say this right now. 
Nobody stopped me from reacting to shit. It was a choice. I hate crybabies. Okay? I really do. Even if I call myself crybaby and about some shit, I hate myself. Okay? So, for me to stop reacting to somebody, it is a choice. Okay? When I was receiving copyrights from these, from him and Regine, it wasn't copyright, like a copyright to take my channel down. It was more so like they wanted the money for me reacting to their content, which I completely understood after a while because people were starting to watch my videos just as much as they were watching their videos, if not just as much. How can I put this? They'll watch mine before they watch theirs type shit is how people was trying to make it seem. Although their videos were getting way over 100,000 views. Mine was only getting about twenty to 30,000 views, which is a lot of people. So it was almost like I think they was feeling that they was missing 20, 30,000 of views because they was watching my shit. So I completely got it. I, okay, that makes sense. That's why I left that alone. Can I fight the copyright though? I can. <laughs> And I would have won because y'all would have to take me to court for every video. But I decided that's a waste of my time. Also, we kept talking about the same thing over and over and over again. I was actually bored with the car. I was ready to go. Okay. So thank God it happened the way it happened. So y'all, nobody stopped me. It was a choice that I decided to make, especially after he showed his ass because I only showed him love throughout that whole situation. So when he showed me, fuck you, it was fuck him. But I'm going to still, if something react, if something is reactable and these T-pages put it on their channel, I'm going to react to it. But no, he won't be in my title or on my thumbnail at all. But yeah, I'm going to talk about it. And since that's not T, we're going to move forward. But y'all, let me tell y'all something. Like, to be a YouTuber, you have to know the rules and regulations of YouTube. And also, to be a content creator that reacts to controversial things you absolutely have to know the laws and things like that of what you're talking about and what it is that you're doing and I know all of them and if the for the ones that I don't know I find them out you get what I'm saying so I don't cross lines I don't disrespect people I don't make up lies ever I just speak about what the hell is on the internet so for some people they can't handle it and I decided uh, for the ones that can't handle it let me chill out because maybe I'm Maybe I'm doing too much. Then when I decided to chill out, I see they, girl, when you're not, when you're not talking about them or when they're not the topic of discussion, they up on the shade room teens talking about their, their friends that are the topic of discussion. It's such a, it's such a, um, it's just contradictive as hell. You know what I'm saying? But this video is absolutely not about that. I just wanted to address that because y'all really think I've seen it in my comments please y'all I'm a Leo niggas could never we would have to take it all the way there and it would be worth it at that point for me but nah if, if you if you can't handle it I back off you know what I'm saying but if the t-page is posted I'm gonna post it like I told y'all it's gonna get posted regardless whether you want to be posted or not you're gonna get posted whether I want to be posted or not I'm gonna get posted and if I feel like responding to it I do and if I don't Fuck them either way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all tap into my ebooks. I'm about to get y'all the video on that. Let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. All right, y'all. One thing about it, two things for sure. Y'all wanted me to teach you about YouTube, so here we go. Listen, y'all want to learn how to do YouTube. I think you all should learn how to do YouTube or content creation in general. But in order for you to do so, you have to know what you're doing. Now, these are only three ebooks that I'm just now starting off with, but I'm going to have a plethora for y'all in a minute. But Faceless Instagram Guide is the first one. Streaming Riches Equipment Package is me showing y'all all of my streaming equipment for um, my setup. And the Canva Playbook teaches you how to use Canva. Canva is used for all kinds of things. Editing, flyers, um, intros, outros, uh, thumbnails. It's going to teach you a thing or two, okay? So if y'all want it, tap in. I only got them right now for $19.99. Ain't going to hurt nobody. Burger and a little fry these days, even for McDonald's. It's $20, okay? Um, don't add a drink and an apple pie. Yeah, it's going about 30 But yeah, tap in, man. But in the meantime, in between time, enjoy the video. Link in the pinned comment.